Hello, my name is Rodney Wilson. Thank you for visiting the Cornwall River Kings Facebook page and having a look at our video blog, the first in a series that we're going to put together for you uh, this summer and throughout the season as we take you a little closer uh, behind the scenes uh, and have a look at the uh, Cornwall River Kings, Cornwall's newest uh, professional hockey team. Tonight we're down here at the uh, Benson Centre having a look at uh, River Kings draft pick Sasha Pokaluk is out here, also uh, Ian Boots, uh, Ottawa Senators Jesse Winchester is out here, um, Cornwall's Miguel DeLille, uh, and we invite you to follow us along and, and ask questions as we interview the coaches, uh, the GM, also the players, and uh, we'll also be putting away, uh, putting together some, uh, some gift packages and uh, free freebies for you as well, uh, and uh, we, we thank you for uh, having a look at our blog. Thanks for tuning in to the Cornwall River Kings video blog. Here we are tonight at the uh, Benson Centre in Cornwall, and we have today with us uh, GM Wayne Veery of the Cornwall River Kings. Welcome, Wayne. Hi. It's been a busy summer for you so far, and getting uh, the team ready for it. Keeping busy. N no stop here. Got to be anxious to uh, put your mark on this team. Uh, the draft was a, a pretty good success. Uh, came out of there with a lot of guys that Cornwall will recognize, a lot of locals, but a good mixture of uh, veterans too that guys that we're going to eventually get to know uh, pretty satisfied with the mix you got? Yeah, the mix from Quebec and the Ontario players should be a good blend. Uh, a lot of veterans that I know from the Quebec League that were, are looking forward to coming to Cornwall. Uh, a lot of the talk has been made about a guy like Eric Malosh, uh, a guy like Yves Sarro, a couple of veterans that you were able to pick up in trades. Um, talk about that, uh, maybe having a couple of guys that have been around for, uh, for a few years. Well, with the new team, we figured we needed vets to, to blend the players in the dressing room, and what better than Eric Malesh and um, Eve Sarro. I mean, they've been around different leagues, so we knew they would be a perfect fit here in Cornwall, especially Malesh, ex-Colt, and Sarro living in Cornwall, so it Is was a good move. A big part of it has to be, too, uh, maybe putting, obviously, bodies in the stands as well. Uh, you want to put together the best team possible, but... How important is it to, to get guys that are going to draw? Uh, if you look at the players that we did draft, like a Brent Klutze, which is basically one of the top heavyweights in the Central Hockey League, I know that will be respected in our rank, and I think the fans will like what he's going to bring to the table. And then with the blunt, the speed of the players, I mean, again, the fans are just going to enjoy it. I mean, we're going to be a big physical team with lots of speed. Along those lines, this has been called uh, the toughest, one of the toughest leagues in the world. For someone uh, who doesn't know a lot about this league, what can they expect? It's a tough league, hard hitting, fast, a good mix of different caliber of hockey players from NHL right down to uh, junior major hockey players. So it's a good mix. They'll enjoy it. I mean, you'll get your money's worth. I'll guarantee you that. How is this different from uh, from what Cornwall fans have seen in terms of skill level from the, the Federal Hockey League to the old uh, Quebec AA Senior League? How is the, the North American Hockey League uh, different in terms of the skill level? Um, the players are a lot more talent than the Federal Hockey League. It wouldn't even be close. Uh, again, the caliber is just such a high difference, really because most of the players that are coming back are guys that played at a real high level and now it's time to get down, settle at home with the family and look for a good job and that's what they're doing right now. Uh, last one for you, um, your work for the summer. You've got quite a few uh, trades you've made, obviously the draft. Um, anything else, any weaknesses you're looking to maybe address uh, in the next two months uh, before training camp? Uh, we're working on a few deals right now as we speak. I'm always looking to improve the team. Without dropping any names, obviously, I mean, is there certain areas where, whether it's goaltending or toughness, uh, no, certain no. areas where you're looking to? As long as I can improve, I'm going to do it. I, I want to make sure that we, we, we will have a winning team. So if i got to make moves, I'll make it. And we're always looking for free agents, too. And you've, you've inherited, obviously, a pretty good team. Uh, been to the final three years in a row, I think. Uh, uh, in the finals, four uh, won two championships, but that was with the, the old Sherbrooke uh, franchise. So, uh, no, but a lot of those players have moved on. The reason was 
because of the traveling. They didn't want to travel from Sherbrooke up to this area. So, listen, I don't want any unhappy campers in my dressing room. So, if you're not happy, it's not going to help my team. Okay. Well, thanks for doing this, Wayne, and all the best uh, this off season. Okay, thank thanks. you. Here we are with uh, head coach of the Cornwall River Kings, uh, Al Wager. And now I've uh, got to be pretty excited to be heading back behind the bench uh, in Cornwall once again. Yeah, I'm certainly looking for the challenge. Uh, took a few years off and uh, I was approached to come back and uh, I think it's going to be uh, lots of fun. Al, of course, was the head coach of the Cornwall Colts in the, uh, I guess, mid-90s. Uh, what's it, uh, what was it about this team and this, this organization, this opportunity that made you want to get back into the game now? Just to take a team again and, and build one from basically scratch because we, we did buy a franchise, but a lot of the kids we've moved on and we're bringing our own flavor into it. And uh, just to see how competitive we're going to be, which I think is going to be you know high end. And uh, I just think that it's, uh, it's a good fit for the city of Cornwall. Obviously, you uh, back in the day, you were coaching 17, 18, 19 year olds. What are some of the challenges and differences going to be in coaching guys that are in their late 20s, late 30s? Well, you're coaching men now. I mean, they've all grown up. Back then, they were, you know, they were just kids, and you're molding them to go on to play to become players at this level. And some of them played pro, and some of them moved on to universities. But uh, coaching's coaching. I mean, the philosophy of the game doesn't change, but uh, just to, how you treat guys is going to be quite, quite a bit different. Anyone who saw your uh, Colts teams back in the, in the 90s know that it was uh, obviously hard-working teams. Expect the same thing uh, with this team? Uh, if you want to be successful, you have to be hard-working. Um, you know, you've got you to play at both ends of the rink. You've got to, uh, you know, when, when you show up, especially with these guys at this age, I mean, uh, they can't just be here for a, a paycheck. They've got to be here to pull a rope in the same direction. We're here to, for, we're here to win hockey games, and we're here to, uh, you know, to have some fun. And... Uh, we're here to try to move on and uh, win a championship here in Cornwall. What's it like also to have guys like uh, Eric Malosh and, and Eve Soro, guys that have been, been around for quite a, quite a long time now. What's it like to have those guys behind the bench and is that going to make it that much easier for you? Well, I mean, they're all, they're all high-end hockey players. If you look at what we've drafted and you look at uh, the guys that we've, we've traded for and we're bringing in, uh, you know, they're all high-end kids. and. Uh, there's, there's going to be lots of fun to coach. Uh, you know, they've got to believe in a system. We're going to, we're going to get that going early in the season. And uh, like I said before, they've got to learn to, get, they've got to have to play at both ends of the rink. And one of the first moves that Al made, of course, was bringing in former assistant uh, Mr. Uh, Mike Rue, uh, Rooster, as you call him. Uh, yep. That's got to be a little uh, extra level of comfort for you as well. Well, it is. A Rooster and I spent a lot of time at the rink. Uh, you know, he was giving me a hand back in the junior days. And... Uh, He's retiring this year, so it's going to be a good fit for him to uh, to come to Cornwall, and uh, we're looking forward to it. We talk quite often about it, and uh, it should be fun. A lot of talk around town, uh, some excitement with this team. For somebody who has never seen a North American Hockey League game or even a Quebec game at all, uh, what should they expect? Well, it's going to be, the guys are finishing their checks. Uh, it's hard-nosed hockey. I mean, uh, you're going to see the same thing in the East Coast League or the Central League. I mean, uh, you know, your skilled guys are playing. Your tough guys, if they got to go, they're going to be going, and uh, it's 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 hockey. That's the way it's that's the way it's going to be played. For the most part, there is a lot of excitement, but there there is that fan that will say that you know the Quebec League, it's just uh, you know it's one of the tough, toughest hockey leagues in the in the world, um, goon hockey, whatever they want to call it. Uh, what do you say to those people as far as giving this team a chance and coming out and watching well, them? First of all, they got to come out and watch it. Uh, the days of the goon, the comments, hockey, the stage fights, uh, you're not going to see that. This, uh, I watched the league pretty closely before I even was going to get involved in it. Um, you know, they were looking at, we were looking at buying a, uh, hot, a franchise in the Federal Hockey League, and uh, that, that was just a gong show. I mean, the teams are winning 24 to 2 and 24 to 3. That's not a hockey game. Uh, when I looked at this league here, it's skilled, it's quick, uh, goaltending is very good. Uh, you know, you, you've got your tough guys. You've you got your tough guys no matter where you play. You play in Europe, you play, uh, you know, the, like the boys are playing in the, the British League there in, in England, Sheffield and that. I mean, it's the same, same, same deal there as it is, is, as it is here. I mean, guys are uh, going to show up. They're going to give you 100%. The people that have come out to the game should see a good show. Uh, it's been a lot of work, obviously, in putting this team together. Is there a player or two maybe that you're looking forward to uh, to working with that... I'm looking yeah. at working on all of them. I mean, uh, 
I watch the, I watch this league and how this the team wins or team lost in the playoffs. I mean, the coach only played two lines, and you know they just got tired out when they got into overtime. Uh, it's fine to say you've got the tough guy on the bench, you know, but I mean, our tough guys are going to have to play. Um, they got to give you shifts during the game, and uh, I want to make sure everybody gets some ice and uh, we can develop them early and uh, see what we can do. Very good. Another reason why we're doing this is to give the fans uh, kind of a look at at the guys that are behind the scenes here. Uh, what do you do in the summertime uh, away from the rink uh, to kind of relax? Well, uh, nothing this year. I'm building a hockey team and uh, selling sponsorship packages, and uh, we're trying to get this program on the go. It's like you're starting from scratch, so there's lots to do. I mean, I'm, every day I'm at the rink, or I'm with Mitch Gagne or Bernie, and uh, every day there's something to do, or there's a fire to put out, or <laughs> there's uh, somebody to go see. So that's what my summer is consisting of so far. Is there uh, any time at all for the band at all, or? Uh? Oh yeah, the band is uh, the band is still going. We're uh, we're all over the place. Uh, won't be uh, won't be like that in September, but we're going to try to get in at least a couple shows a month right now. Okay. And also the uh, the team has its first uh, golf tournament on August 11th. Uh, not much of a golfer. Not much of a golfer, but I, I could certainly drive a cart and have a beer. <laughs> we look forward to that. Uh, thanks all for doing this, and all the best this off season. You're very welcome. Take care.